Turning back to our team coverage, data compiled on a map created by one group called Climate Central, a nonprofit organization of scientists, shows many coastal areas on this map could become submerged by 2150. You see this map? Everything in red all along the coast. Huge areas of the Everglades, in fact, mean they're below annual flood level. Wink News reporter Amy Gallo joins us live from the Cape Coral Yacht Club. And Amy, that, air, that map and all that red really caused some reaction on people you talked to today. That's right. I've heard a lot from people as I was showing them the map today. Some of them are sad or worried seeing all of this red, while others tell me, hey, this is 100 years away, so this isn't their problem. But one thing is for certain, after speaking to an expert, what's most important here is context. This map is Climate Central's perspective on how much Florida could change by 2150. You see all of that red? Those are areas projected to be below water level. That's very sad. It's, it's like... I don't know, it just feels wrong. Yeah, but what could happen in 100 years? Houses might be floating houses or, you know. <laughs> we'll find a way we'll around We'll be it. flying around in cars, I mean. <laughs> so the it's world won't be nothing. <laughs> the map, created by a nonprofit group of scientists, may bring up some strong feelings one way or another. I'm scared. It's, it's really weird. It's weird to think about, I guess, like that it's not going to be here when I'm gone. However, Florida Southwestern State College geology professor Joseph Van Gallen has a warning. You're talking about hundreds of scientists who are contributing in one way or another, and that's an awful lot of information to absorb. This is their best try, you know, the good old, uh, good old school try to get this going and, and make it, you know, sort of digestible. Projecting rising sea levels is complicated. Sea levels have been rising for quite some time, not as rapidly as 10,000 years ago, but more rapidly than 100 years ago. There's variability in that. For example, if we look at, you know, from a broad perspective, Manhattan should have been underwater a while ago, but the evolution of the building and stuff like that makes things different over time, too. Right now, one thing is clear. Florida's sea level is rising an average of four millimeters a year. The thing to do is to not look at a map like this and say, oh, well, I've got 100 years. Uh, the thing to do is to think about, OK, well, if this goes up a little bit in 10 years, what does that mean for Hurricane Ian in 10 years? If you're interested in looking at the Climate Central map, you can head to winknews.com and click on this story. I've got a link up for you. I'm live in Cape Coral, Amy Gallo, Wink News.